Hi, I'm Mel Beach from Shaker Heights High School. You're watching Ohio Sports Net. Hi, uh, this is Rosario Hurley. I'm from Shaker Heights High School. You're watching Ohio Sports Net. Here's your last of play by play program books with all the team's roster information. Player available in the lobby. Hi, my name is Danny Young. I'm the head coach of Shaker Heights High School, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net. Hi, this is Andy Sattel, head boys basketball coach at Cleveland Heights High School, and you're watching Ohio Sports Net.
want to do what's best for the team. I'm not, it's no I in team, and I just try to do what's best for the team. So I'm a senior, this is my last year. I just want to get down the stage, and if that means coming off the bench and for the best uh, situation for the team, then I just sacrifice. And I, of course, I want to start, but that's what's best for the team. We lost to them by 30 last year, and that's still in the back of my mind. I was like, no, we're not losing. So I will my team, and I try to say, no, we can't afford to lose again. So I said, just fight. Everybody, don't stop quitting. Just fight, man. We fought and won. It was hectic. I thought we just had to fight just to try to get the ball and just to score around. Uh, I was a little nervous, yeah, because yeah, the game was a little close, but just like Minner. Yeah, I just thought we had to fight. But last few years, it seemed like in crunch time, the ball was always in Terry's hands. Now Terry's not here anymore. You guys, it seems like almost anybody can step up, maybe a different player every night. What does that say about your team? Uh, we're, 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 we're just a good team. And, uh, uh, like anybody can close the game up. He's through a hell of a scare. Yeah, but that's not what we're here for. And that's, you know, our kids definitely, uh, definitely aren't playing the big big teams like that to throw scares into we're 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 expecting and and, and uh, preparing to win those games so to not come away with one that really you know, down the stretch I thought we had um, is frustrating what was the big second half adjustment that you made to put you on that run that you oh, no real adjustment we still we, we did talk about um, we did talk about not taking so many you know bad threes I think we were like two of eleven from the three-point line and we're a decent shooting team but we, we definitely talked that we have to get it to the rim. Make it make or miss, we still have to get the ball to the rim. And I think, you know, Harp had a few early touches in the third. We started to get the ball to where it needed to go and attack from, from, from sort of behind the zone, um, which is what we're, we, we wanted to do in the first half. We just weren't doing it. They made some tough shots. Their, their kids knocked down some big-time shots. Um, and I thought we, we, uh, I thought we, had, we did a good job to attack to get that lead. And then, and then just down the stretch, we, uh, you know, we had some, we had some bad turnovers. We had two very bad turnovers. Um, you make it a learning experience and go from there. I think our kids have the mentality that they, they're expecting to, they're expecting to win that game. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, we're about to beat the number one team. It was, you know, we're, 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 we're right there with Shaker in our opinion. Uh, we're right there with the top team. So, um, I don't know if it's that or. You know, say, when you play so many guys, and we've been playing 12 guys, I think sometimes guys are, in, you know, even though we're eight games in, I, the one turnover happened with a guy that hasn't been in that situation all year yet. So, you know, it's, it's uh, I, I think it just happened, you know. What I was thinking is they beat our butts by 28 or 30 last year, and I was thinking, oh, no, not again. They got us again. I'm going to have to wait another year to hear, well, you can't ever beat Heights. You can't ever beat Heights. And then I, I just felt as though, uh, I thought they had that game won. I really did. I thought it, the ship had sunk. But uh, Mel Leach and the guys uh, made a great play on the basketball. Yeah. Threw it ahead, advanced it, made some clutch free throws. And, uh, you know, tied turn. You got, you got to think, think positive. I was thinking just try to get quick threes, quick shots to the paint, score at the clock stop, because we were in the one and one. Um, Marzell, I think, hit the first three Early in the three. left left corner right. pass from Mel Leach. That's right. the first one. Uh, so when I saw that go in, I, we had a gleam of hope. I think that took us down to, should, what, what, two or three? Early Something like three, that. Two. They put us down two. 68, 68. Yep. And then Mel gets the steal. We advance the ball, split the free throws, get another steal. Now it's 6.5 seconds left. We call a timeout and draw a play up just to get the ball in bounds. I was just proud of the weekend. If you think about the weekend we just had, yes. Yes. I was talking to you, Tim, that minute, coming back from uh, New York. I mean, we played a great Sanford team that took us to the wire and beat us. You know, and then coming back here, first game out the gate home, like when I talked about Minner, at Minner, come back from 18, now you got to face your rival a day later. At Minner, I can't recall when we ever had beat Minner at Minner in a long time. And uh, I can't remember a weekend where we go back to back against tough, state-ranked, uh, respected uh, teams and programs and, and, and come out victorious. I, I think it's big. I think it builds character. I, I think it builds confidence. Um, I, I think during video sessions and back in practice, I think you can pinpoint and show them different things as to how we can even get better. But uh, I, I think you grow as a team winning those cl close, rivalry games like that. I mean, you learn so much from that. So I'm just I'm very proud of the guys. I told uh, the guys, yes, Brazil got the, the team trophy, but you gotta give, you tip your hat off the mail. 
Um, making that play on that ball, that, that was big. Coach, it's almost kind of different. The last few years, game on the line, the ball Terry's hands. Right. Now, it's just kind of like, okay, who wants it? And you seeing different players step up? Um, well, we know we want to go to uh, East Ahmad and Cash Blackwell. So when the game's on the line, we're going inside. We're going to East Ahmad or Cash Blackwell. But tonight, it was Mel's night, as far as in the last few minutes of the fourth quarter. And, and what we talked about before the game, we got to sacrifice for the better good of the team, and then individual accolades will come. So even though Mel played as a team, right now he's going to get a little individual accolade, probably in the paper, and just his, from his teammates and from his coaches.